front end is awesome. We need to do a little video about this. Got Mike and Aaron. What are we talking about here today? Kraus Moto, inverted front end. And isolated risers, fly moto bars with some gauge relocation. Why don't we get technical? Let's get technical. The team at Cross Moto has been designing and engineering and testing Dynamoto SP suspension and braking setups for more than five years in punishing real world conditions. We have chosen the best available technology and have engineered what we feel is the best possible functional design to improve the handling and performance of your Harley Davidson. We believe that when it comes to safety and the enjoyment of a motorcycle, there's no second chance. Finally, you can ride your Harley Davidson and your sport bike at the same time. Dynamoto SP Inverted Front End offers the best of both worlds. Why is an inverted, inverted front fork suspension superior to conventional? Well, front forks on a motorcycle need to be as rigid as possible to the suspension parts. They also need to be as light as possible. An inherent advantage of inverted forks is their weight. They're lighter than conventional front ends. A steel fork tube is the heaviest part of a traditional fork assembly. By design, inverted forks have shorter and thinner walled fork tubes. This results in less steering inertia and responsive handling feel. One more benefit is that inverted front ends deliver better compression and rebound dampening than conventional designs. So and one more benefit, when you compare in inverted front ends against conventional, the tube and slider, it adds to their strength. Inverted forks by design are stronger than conventional front end assemblies. Most of the stress applied to the forks occurs just below the bottom of the triple tree. There. And when you pull the brake lever, you're braking the wheel and throwing the bike forward. Because the wheel wants to continue to move forward, it adds a tremendous amount of stress to that area. Mike, on to you. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. Cross Motor Company has designed and engineered the Dynamoto inverted front end to be the absolute best performance suspension product for Harley Davidson motorcycles. It's the best. Dynamoto SP package takes all the guesswork and hassle out of upgrading your motorcycle suspension. Suspension is extremely important and is at the core of a properly functioning, functional and fun motorcycle. Suspension works to keep traction, controls the reaction of the motorcycle to road conditions, controls Brake dive and increases the overall handling. Well tuned suspension ensures comfort and fun for the rider. If you've ever ridden a squirrely handling machine, you know exactly what we mean when we say suspension is critical to enjoying your ride. Additionally, the scripts were all printed over top of each other, so Mike and Aaron had to pick them out of a jumble to make it more interesting. Now, back to the video. Inverted forks are stronger because they have more... There's a word I can't read on there. The more overlap, the more rigid the front fork assembly. Clearly you can see why 
we are such fans and proponents of the front fork design. There's no reason why we all can't enjoy the benefit of a well-built and designed front suspension. Krause is working hard to bring these benefits to the riders that need and will appreciate them the most. All right, enough of the technical stuff. In all reality, an inverted front setup on your bike is going to make your bike handle as close to a sport bike as it's possible and be a terrific addition to your ride. So if you're ever interested in making one of these bikes handle a real, not just as good as it can be, check one of these setups out. They're really legit. Some of the things that we put on this motorcycle is the Dynamoto inverted SP set. We've installed Behringer brakes, which have a much more responsive feel than the standard brakes that come on the Harleys. We've also got the Krauss triple tree setup and the fly moto bars and the risers with integral isolators inside the riser. We've also installed the gauge relocation so that you don't have to look down, the gauges are right on the bar. And like you noticed before, Roy, it handles pretty well. Yes, it does. Stay tuned for our next video when we go over how to install fuel pack FD3 and other piggyback devices. Stay tuned.